Newt Gingrich's campaign is in big trouble. He has just reduced his campaign schedule. I'm hurt, dog. He has laid off a third of his staff. I'm hurt, dog. He is now charging 50 bucks a picture. I'm hurt, dog. <laughs> he has laid off a dozen staff members between his headquarters and the primary states that are still left at the end of this month. I'm hurt, dog. He says that he will now be using primarily social media and internet advertising to get the word out. I'm hurt, dog. <laughs> and the main person campaigning for him in a critical state of Wisconsin coming up next Tuesday is Calista Gingrich. I'm hurt, dog. <laughs> okay, Gingrich, you're in big, big trouble. He's out of money. He's desperate at this point. I mean, you're talking to me about, oh, don't worry. I, I'm not going to run TV ads because I think I'll be better off tweeting it out. <laughs> Look, I'm a big believer in social media, but that ain't a political campaign strategy that's going to get you to win in these states as Mitt Romney is spending millions of dollars on TV advertising and every other kind of advertising you can imagine. That's because Newt Gingrich is totally broke. What he said dominate, and we're not doing it. That's the speech he just gave at headquarters. He thinks that it's okay, it's okay. We got Calista at Wisconsin. She was born in Wisconsin. Yeah, that'll help. You know where he's polling? Dead last. He's at 5%. Ron Paul is at 11%. He's getting his ass kicked. Look, it's over, man. Alabama and Mississippi were his last stand. If he had won there, maybe he could have done a resurgence against Santorum, try to be the other candidate against Romney. But once he lost Alabama and Mississippi to Santorum, it was good night, Irene. We said it from then. It's absolutely true now, and uh, it, he, it, he's done, he's done, he's done. In fact, JR has a tribute to Newt Gingrich now that he is unquestionably finished. Let's watch. I mean, I have no, I don't have to go around and point out the inconsistencies of people who aren't going to be the nominee. They're not going to be the nominee. You're going to be the nominee. I'm going to be the nominee. Uh, I've been the front runner twice. I suspect I'll be the front runner again in a few weeks. Uh, Romney's probably the weakest Republican front runner since Leonard Wood in 1920. That on the very first day, I will sign an executive order repealing every anti religious act of the Obama administration. And I am appalled that you would begin a presidential debate on a topic like that. Going back to the moon permanently, getting to Mars as rapidly as possible. All this is going to happen about two hours after the inaugural address. I have a very simple message from Mitt Romney. <laughs> I'll meet him anywhere in Iowa for 90 minutes, just the two of us, in a debate with a timekeeper and no moderator. I'd love to have him say that to my face. We are going to contest every place, and we are going to win, and we will be in Tampa as the nominee in August. Uh, and and I, I also am an amateur paleontologist, so I've, I've spent a lot of time looking at the Earth's temperature over a very long time. Are you calling Mitt Romney a liar? Yes. You're calling Mitt Romney a liar? Well, you seem shocked by it. I, 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 yes. 